Hi guys, welcome to this video on angle side angle congruence shortcuts. So, uh, before we begin, just important to remember that uh, when we talk about inclu uh, included side angle, so angle side angle has an included side, we are talking about the side here that is put sandwiched between angle A and angle B. Okay, so keep that in mind as we talk about the ASA congruence shortcut. So, if two angles and the included side in one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side in another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So here's an example. I have angle A and angle X are congruent, angle B and angle Y are congruent, and then side AB and side XY, which is the included side uh, of these two angles, is congruent, leads me to be able to conclude that ABC is congruent to XYZ. All right, so let's go ahead and do a practice proof of ASA. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I know that I've got to do this. This is my end goal. So I'm going to write that down at the bottom here. My goal is to tr prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC. So that's my end statement. So I am going to write down my given information. That's my next step here. So I do know that angle A is congruent to angle D. So angle A is congruent to angle D. That reason, uh, the reason I'm going to write for that is that it is given. It's marked on the diagram. The next thing I'm going to say is that AC and DC are congruent. So side AC is congruent to side DC. And again, that is a given information. And then finally, I have to come up with some non-given piece of information. So I look, look at the diagram here, and I look for anything that I could prove congruent um, by using either definition of midpoint, um, by using the reflexive property, by using definition of a bisector, or vertical angles theorem. And I see that there are two angles that are across from each other. And so I believe they are congruent because of the vertical angle theorem. So I have my reason, so the vertical angles theorem. I can certainly say it's this angle and this angle that I'm trying to say are congruent. So I can say angle A, C, B is congruent to angle D, C, E. And the reason I need to use three letters to call out this angle is because um, I do not have, so I'm going to slide this up, I do not have, uh, I have two angles that have come off of C, and because of that, I need to specify which direction they're going. So now that I have these three pieces of information, I have an angle, an angle, and a side wedged between them. So that leads me to conclude that the triangles are congruent using A, S, a, angle side angle. All right, guys, that's it. That's how to use the angle side angle congruent shortcut to prove that two triangles are congruent. Um, I'll see you in the next video.